Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a fun one here. 2023 Topps Star Wars Signature Series. 20 box break, full case, random character break number four. Uh, one spot gets you four characters. And there's one spot that'll get any and all multi-autographs. And then there's the whole big list of characters right here. All from the different Star Wars properties. Animated, live action, past, present, future. All right. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Now we're giving away six extra spots. So we only sold 27 spots outright. And we're giving away six extra spots. So good opportunity for a buy one, get one here. So let's do that with the first dice roll. Second dice roll will be for your names and character names. Five and a five, top 10. Uh, five and five, top six after 10. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, James James, Andy James, Andy Russell. Extra spots going your way after ten. All right, so now we've got the 33 spots. I can gather all those names again. Copy those, and then it's two, three, and four. All right, so we're all right there. Now I can gather all your the full list of names, put them into this clean list, and then we'll get the list of characters, get the whole list here. And then we'll put the results here in that first tab. Let's roll it, randomize it, three and a two, five times for names and characters. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, there's everybody. Three and a two, five times for the characters. One, two, three, four, and five. After five, we got Ben Kenobi down to F, Kevin Fukuhara. All right, so I'm just gonna show you the list as is. And then I'll uh, multiply, multiply? I'll alphabetize by your first names. And then you'll see all your characters grouped together. Now remember, there is a Ben Kenobi spot and an Obi-Wan Kenobi spot, two different spots. Andy with all the, uh, with any and all dual autograph spots, or I think, are there only dual autographs? Any and all multi-auto spot, we'll just put it that way. Or maybe there's only. All right. Now let's alphabetize by your first names. So you can see Darren has the Ben Kenobi spot. Sort by column A. So Andrew, there are your teams, your teams, your characters. Andy, there are your characters. You see Ben or Darren with his Ben Kenobi spot. Darren, there are your characters. James has a bunch. Nice. Awesome. There are your last bot mojo characters, your extra spots. Jonathan, there's yours. Michael, Rob, Russell, Sean, and Thomas. There you go. 
We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any uh, trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so the list you saw on that previous screen remains the same. I wish I had like a little soundboard here. Because whenever I say the, the list remains the same, it always reminds me of, uh, of The Godfather 2. It's a deep cut, but it's Godfather 2 where, where they're in old New York and where that, that scumbag landlord come and is trying to raise the rent on. And then he realized who, who Vito Corleone is after insulting him, then he comes in all nervous and he's like, and the rent will stay the same. All right, first one out of the gate is gonna be Mon Mothma. Many Bothans died bringing this autograph into this box. This is gonna go to, it's a good Mon Mothma reference. Um, that's gonna go to James. All right, next box. Cardboard Kanesh has two different cards for BB-8. Interesting, a, an AB-8, there's a Brian Herring and Dave Chapman. No Bill Hader though, huh? Didn't have the Bill Hader money. Then we've got General Draven, who was in a Rogue One. That's Alistair Petrie. General Draven. That Andor show is pretty good. A little, little darker, a little different from the other ones, but I think that's why I like it. Andrew with General Draven. Makes the uh, TV shows pretty good, too. Looking forward to the next one already. All right, next up is, is Twilight Major Domo. Um, that is David uh, Pasquesi, who is. I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's done a ton of other stuff, but he's. That goes to James. Ever see the show Veep on from, on HBO? One of my favorite shows. That's Julia Louis Dreyfus's husband. In uh in Veep. Yeah, it does, Logan. Yeah, there, there's a different level. There's a freedom to that show that's, you know, some of the other shows are on, have, have the weight of the Star Wars universe on them, but Andor is one of those, and Rogue One has kind of operated a little freely. So it's, it feels a lot fresher and a little darker too, which I kind of like. There's Lux Bonteri from the Clone Wars. It's Jason Spisak. With the voice, Clone Wars, great show. And that goes to James. Little uh, summertime homework before uh, Ahsoka comes out in August is to watch Star Wars Rebels. I think that'll be some uh, good supplement. I don't, I don't think it's necessary, but I think it's good, a uh, good supplemental viewing. That'll probably enhance your viewing of the live action series. There's Evan Peel. That's Michaela Cottrell. And that will go to... That, that'll also go to James. James got a lot of spots here. All right. First five done. Next five. We've got a Tuscan warrior from the Book of Boba Fett. Is that close? Or I'll, I'll work on it. I think that sounded more more Wookieish than Tuscan. 
That's more wiki. All right, we've got Hondo Onaka. One of my favorite characters in the Clone Wars is Jim Cummings. Really should get him in the sort of the live series here. James with Hondo. I mean, they, they might introduce him, actually. I think he showed up in, in Rebels, too. Ooh, a plate! A one-of-one T.O.B. one. Nice. That's in the that's in the Star Wars Resistance series, which that's that's one of the few animes have they had I haven't seen. But that's gonna go to Jonathan. Jonathan! All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That's Jaden Waldman with the character. <laughs> I, are you saying I sound like a Wookiee when I roll out of bed in the morning? Just get up. Like that. That's just, just strange. Me I, think I, I think you're right. I think that's how, that's how I do. Uh, that's how I wake up. The alarm goes off. We got Tali Lintra from The Last Jedi. That's Hermione Corfield. I think she... I think she is one of the bomber pilots in The Last Jedi in that, in that bombing run on the big, big ship. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, oh, she goes to her autograph, the... Where I lost my list. There it is. That's going to go to Darren. Darren K. There's Cad Bane from the animated series. Oh, no, from the live action series. Dorian Kingji. And that'll go to Rob Teal and Cad Bane. Also, who's Toby, Mike Tower? Oh, you I, that Oh, the droid, you mean. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if they... If they called that character, I don't know. Watch the show, I guess. Jason saying gravity in space. Not sure what that means. I think there is gravity in space. There's Ezra Bridger. Nice. Taylor Gray. Ezra Bridger. If you think of uh, if you think of space as a blanket stretched out, and every planet is like a baseball, it's making a small little divot inside the blanket of space. That's that's gravity right there. Oh, the bombing scene. I mean, I don't know. When has Star Wars been scientifically accurate? There's a Kersantin from the Book of Boba Fett. What a terrifying, terrifying character. There's Carrie Jones.
I mean, if we're saying, if we're criticizing the bombing scene, then I suppose the Death Star should never make a sound when it blows up. Nothing should explode in space. Ezra Bridger went to Russell by the Ezra Bridger spot, the Kersantan spot. That is, that's for you, James. I guess he's been, I guess he was pretty popular in some graphic novels before he ended up making his live action appearance here. In space, can they hear the train whistle? Yeah, yeah, they can. That, that the train whistle defi defies all, all, uh, all physics. You got the bartender, Alan Graff, 30 out of 50. Hey, bartender, Joe Boo needs a refill. Look out. It's Darren. Everyone knows what that's from. Darren with the bartender. The animated series are worth a watch, Jason. There's Imperial Fighter Pilot from The Mandalorian. That's Alexander Wraith. That's 42 out of 50. James with the Imperial Freighter Pilot. And we've got Nien Num. Nice. 23 out of 25. Among other movies. I guess Mike Quinn was the Nien Num in Rise of Skywalker. That will be for Andy. All right, final five. Good luck. I like the, I like the sides of the boxes with the... Rebel side, Imperial side. That's right, Jeremy. The, the reason why TK421 wasn't as close because he was watching us, watching Jaspies. There's Pamich Nero Good from The Force Awakens. Crystal Clark. That'll be for James. TK421. TK421, TK421, why aren't you at your post? Uh, everything's good, everything's fine here. How are you? Who is this? There's Aura Singh. From The Phantom Menace. Aura Singh will go to Darren. There's BB-8. We were talking about him. We were just talking about him. That's Brian Herring, the puppeteer for BB-8. And that'll go to James. Nice one, James. Excellent, excellent character. Love BB-8. I know. It's a money grab. Get a cute droid in there. But it works. I think you can build a BB-8 in that uh, Galaxy's Edge. All right, here is Lovey. That's Lily Cole as Lovey. And that'll be for Rob. And the final hit. Good luck, everybody. May the force be with you. Yes. 
Oh, was it TK427? Either way, well, bigger Star Wars nerds than I, Jeremy, will be just be in the comments without watching the rest of the video. They'd be, what an idiot. Everyone knows it's TK427. And we got Grand Moff Tarkin. That's Guy Henri, or Guy Henry, as Grand Moff Tarkin. Nice way to end it. That's going to go to Russell. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. May the force be with you.